Hello, welcome to Open Aware. I'm Trace. And I'm Tina. And we help people live integrated, healthy lives that are connected to their true essence and purpose. Today, we wanted to talk about boundaries and specifically how boundaries are usually framed in an external sense. Mm -hmm. Boundaries are usually talked about in a terms of what we don't want. They're very focused on the external world. It's about what we're saying no to. And when our boundaries are only thought of and conceived of in terms of what we don't want and the external world, we're never really finding out what we actually do want. We're actually missing out on what's true for us internally when we're only focused on what's happening externally. Mm -hmm. So for a lot of people, their boundaries are just constantly in reaction to what's mm -hmm. happening around them. It's in reaction to the external world. And this prevents people from really knowing themselves on a deep level. It prevents them from knowing what they truly want. So when we can shift this focus from being externally focused to internally focused, our boundaries can start coming from a more rooted place. Our boundaries mm. can start coming from a place that is uh, rooted in self-knowing and self-love. It's mm -hmm. about actually what we're saying yes to in life mm -hmm. rather than what we're saying no to in life. And this mm -hmm. is a principle that Open Aware is founded on mm -hmm. is uh, shifting from, it's called an external yardstick to an internal yardstick. So when we're constantly making our decisions based on an external yardstick, it means we're always in reaction to what's going on around us. And all of our, all of our decisions are just uh, in reaction mm -hmm. to uh, the outside world. It's in reaction to the, the external world. And the yardstick we're using to determine these and make these decisions um, is constantly, it's just relying on what other people are doing. Mm -hmm. uh, but when we can shift from an internal yardstick and start to ask ourselves, does this decision feel right to me? Is this, is this decision uh, in line with who I've been called to become? Mm -hmm. uh, is this decision in alignment with my true self? Uh, we're starting to make decisions from a much deeper place and we're starting to make decisions based on who we're meant to be in the world and we're making decisions based on our authentic true self. Mm, that's so powerful and so true and to think about am I deciding this from a place of an internal yes versus an external no it gives us the tenacity the courage the bravery the energy the strength to actually figure out how to communicate communicate our boundaries in a loving, graceful, compassionate way. When we're feeling like we have to constantly be in reaction to the outside world, then it, there's a sense of like brittleness or just not doing it at all because it's too hard. Um, for me, one of the most important statements that came across my awareness around boundaries is the concept of boundaries are where I can love you and love me too. And when I heard that, that went against all sorts of conditioning that I had around overgiving, um, you know, elements of codependency, elements of having fewer needs to make other people comfortable. And obviously that statement, boundaries are where I can love you and love me too, is so powerful because I'm included in the situation. And so it's far easier, it was far easier for me to default to what does someone else want and then for me to shape shift myself around that or to just be super flexible, super easy going. And the reality is every time you do that, you kind of take, you're potentially taking bits of resentment and adding them to yourself or you're taking a bit off of who you really are or what you want to be or do in the world and just kind of chipping away at it of like, oh, it doesn't really matter. It doesn't really matter. But the stronger that we become with our internal yardstick, then the more that this sentence really has power and empowerment in it because it calls us to a new creative space of, okay, this is, this is recognizing that someone externally has a need or a want from me and where am I? Like check in, where am I in this situation? Do I have the space to say a yes? Is it an obvious no to me? Or more often, there are a lot of creative solutions in between simply 100% yes or 100% no, right? And so if we're kind of unsure, I mean, I think all of you watching this are probably pretty clear on the things in your life that are just an absolute no, right? But what do we do with all of those other things where 
Like a large part of me wants to say yes, but there's a part of me that's not so sure or vice versa. That's where it comes into this creative space of how can I include you and include me. And as a matter of fact, as soon as you start conversations that way, let's say someone has an ask of you and you tune in, you find out what your needs are and you respond back and you're like, oh, I really honor what you're asking for or I love that or whatever it is. Um, and this is the need that I have around that time. Then it includes the other person in the creative or co-creative solution making as well. It's not just your responsibility. It's not all of a sudden all on your shoulders because someone's made an ask of you. And actually it builds a lot stronger relationships because then the people in your life know that they can actually ask you things without feeling like you're going to say yes out of obligation. Uh, and then people maybe stop asking you as often because they don't want you to feel obligated, like all sorts of kind of weird, non fully healthy uh, energetics start coming in the mix when we don't have healthy boundaries. But when we do, we can have a lot more creative conversations. We can have a lot more collaborative relationships. We can uh, decide and, and harvest and fertilize really healthy relationships together based on what everyone needs. And so therefore then when you spend the time, you know, doing the thing you've created, you're gonna have your cup filled up through that so much more than you would if you're just doing something out of obligation. So I'll say it for you one more time. Boundaries are where I can love you and love me too. We see boundaries as a gift. Mm -hmm. We created a course called Beautiful Boundaries that is all about how to create boundaries that are coming from a place of self-knowing and self-love mm -hmm. so that they can be a gift to ourselves and others. So the link to that and all the other ways to contact us are down in the description below. We would love to have you join us for that. Thank you.